the CNN political commentator Simone Sanders and former political director for George W. Bush, Matt Schlapp. Great to have both of you. So the information and the breaking news is coming in fast and furious this morning. Matt, if the president, if Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer and what they say is correct and the president agreed to some sort of protection for dreamers without building a border wall, do you feel as a conservative betrayed? Well, no, because clearly by the president's tweets this morning, that did not happen. And uh, I think I like the fact that the president, unlike some people who are whining that President Trump is spending too much time with these Democratic leaders, I actually think it's a good thing. Uh, you know, he should, just like everyone should, every president should attempt to be everyone's president, and they should attempt to work with the opposition. And if they can come up with some deals on issues that the country cares about, I'm all for it. I just don't see... The, 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 I don't see a deal here yet. Could be one in the future. Uh, hmm. And when you say whining, um, right. before I get to Simone, <laughs> let me read what I think you're referring to, because here were the tweets that were coming out, um, you know, in rapid fire succession last night at 11 p.m. after word of this alleged deal uh, hit. So here's Congressman Steve King. He says, if the Associated Press is correct, the Trump base blown up, destroyed, irreparable, and disillusioned beyond repair. No promise is credible. Talk show host Laura Ingram says the art of the steal. Let's hope that Pelosi and Schumer misrepresented the DACA deal. Sean Hannity says weak Republicans have betrayed voters, and the president needs to stay the course and keep his promises or it's over. Pelosi and Schumer can never be trusted. Now, the president himself, I got to tell you, Matt, he's not denying um, that this is what they talked about. I mean, he's saying basically no deal was reached, but he's not saying that they didn't sort of hammer out, that they didn't move a lot closer to having an official deal. So again, if there's no border wall and he did this with Democrats, what will you say tomorrow? Well, I think, let me just say, the whining that I'm referring to are Republicans <laughs> on the Hill that seem to think that the president should only deal with them. I think they are making, I think the president should deal with the Democrats, number one. Number two, on this question, first of all, the president ended DACA, okay? So he ended the ability for people to come here through this special, uh, this special kind of like a loophole in the immigration process. That's ended. So now the next question is, which the president has not talked about, is what do you do with the seven, 800,000 people who are here, which can be put in lots of different categories, as he said, including people serving in the military. Yeah. That is the question before Congress. How do you handle the 800,000 people who are here? By the way, the Democrats have a role in determining that legislative process yeah. as well, and that's, gonna na that's now going to happen before our eyes. Simone, how do you explain what you're seeing unfold where twice now, in the space of a week or two, the president has worked with, it appears, the Democrats. He had this dinner last night with um, Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi and didn't invite Paul Ryan and Mitch McConnell. <laughs> So I, I think what we're seeing here is one, um, excellent and, and very high level maneuvering on the part of Leader Pelosi and Chuck Schumer. And on the side of the president, I think what we're seeing is he wants some kind of win. Donald Trump has no major legislative victories under his belt. The one thing that he can tout and say is a success is the fact that um, he got a Supreme Court justice confirmed. And that's not enough. And so I think what we're seeing here is that, look, the president doesn't want to kick um, the dreamers out. He wants to do something to protect them, or at least he says he does. And if he really wants to, um, you have to codify that in some, some type of law, some type of maneuvering, if you will, to protect them. So I think Donald Trump is, is attempting, if you will, to struggle with himself. But I think actions speak a whole lot louder than words. And I think what we did see in his tweets this morning um, is that he is prepared possibly to do something on behalf of the Dreamers. Mm -hmm. Like I know mm -hmm. Matt just said DACA was rescinded. Yeah, Simone, but oh, Simone, hold on. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but we just have new tape of the president as he departs on Air Force One to Florida. And we believe that he is speaking about this very thing. He was certainly asked questions about it because everybody wants him to clarify what happened at this dinner last night. Thus far, all we have are Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer's recounting of the deal that they think that they struck with the president. And then the president tweeting this morning saying no deal. So of course he was asked about it as he was getting on the plane. And we believe that we have some sound of it that we will get to momentarily. Okay, give us a few more seconds in the meantime. Okay, now we have it. Here you go, listen to this.
Wow, we're going to replay that for you because that was so subtle. <laughs> it was a slow mo version. That, was, I'm just glad iPhone we weren't version. showing uh, Melania's footwear. That's good. Yet, I believe if we take a wide shot, we may be able to see the footwear. Um, all right, well, look, I'll get to that in a second. But in the meantime, um, I just want to show you, Matt, what Ann Coulter feels about all this this morning. When the president tweeted this morning, first I'll put up his tweet about the Dreamers, okay? And he says they've been brought in our country for many years through no fault of their own, brought in by parents at a young age, plus big border security. And Coulter then tweeted, at this point, who doesn't want Trump impeached? What do you say to her, Matt? Uh, you know, not much. She's She is a very witty tweeter. She's provocative. But let's get to the policy. The fact is there's seven or 800,000 people who are here. They can be put in lots of different categories. By the way, not all of them are juveniles. Sometimes they are able to bring over guardians Understood. eventually as well. Uh, right. There I, are people here who are adults. As you said, there are people who serve in the military. Yeah. The question is this. DACA, he kept his promise on DACA, yeah. which he got a lot of criticism for. But now you have the population that's here in the country. Yeah. Congress has to wrestle this to the ground and figure out the solution. But there's Matt, Democrats. hold on a second. You're sure. ignoring another big piece, and that's the border wall. I mean, you're awfully sanguine about this. But if whatever he did for Dreamers, whatever deal he struck for Dreamers, doesn't include the big, beautiful border wall that he promised, what will you think? He's going to have to build that wall, and he's going to build that wall. And I don't know at what point in the legislative process that uh, more funding is going to come forward. Remember, Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama voted for having this wall. So, I mean, no, it's going to happen. Wait, Matt. No, they didn't. Go ahead. Hillary yes, they Clinton did. Barack they Obama called did it a not... fence. Hillary Clinton and Barack Whatever Obama did, call did not, not the president, vote. Did, by the not way. Vote, <laughs> did not vote for anything that yes, resembles what Donald Trump is talking about. That is a totally separate uh, Well, hold issue. on a second. What we, but, I'm sorry, Simone, but I just want to say, so is the, pre the president calling it a fence this morning. So let me put up his tweet because I just want to clarify this. I These don't are know synonyms. If, Wait a second. They're not, not that. Enough. Hold on. Donald you Trump are... is talking about yeah. building a Berlin style, block them up, keep them out, Game of Thrones style wall. Okay? And this morning he's changed that, Simone. This morning the tweet basically says, um, by the way, the wall already is being built. Uh, it is. It's true. Hold this is on, disingenuous. Hold on, That's Matt. not true. It's in the form of new renovation <laughs> of old and existing fences and walls will continue to be built. Is that what you had in mind for the new big, beautiful wall? Uh, if you're asking me, I, I, think the, I think the wall that he described during the campaign will be built. I think the, I think the hypocrisy here by a lot of Democrats is, is that they have voted, including Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton in the Senate, over and over and over again to have more funding to secure our southern border. The American people mm -hmm. want the southern border secured. It makes no sense to try yeah. to deep to uh, catch and release and to, to right. deport so people. I just want to be they clear. Yeah. Go ahead, right back I want to be really clear. Ahead, yes, no one is saying we should have unfettered borders and just unfettered immigration into this country. Multiple times, many members of Congress, including Democrats, including folks like Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton, have voted for border security. Mm -hmm. But no one, no, no sane Democrat has voted. Definitely not Hillary Clinton or Barack Obama let, let me, have voted for this Game of Thrones style Simone, wall. But Simone, Matt, Simone. Matt, I'm still confused. But, but let me, but let me, let me just, just say one thing. Wait, 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 Hillary I mean, Clinton, just, let me just say this. Hillary Clinton yes. said on DACA specifically. Uh, okay. We're getting massive border control. We're working on a uh, plan for DACA. People want to see that happen. You have 800,000 young people brought here, no fault of their own. So we're working on a plan. We'll see how it works out. But we're going to get massive border security as part of that. And I think something can happen. We'll see what happens. We're but about something Florida. will happen. We're questioned about Florida. With more than 5 million people still without power, you feel that the federal government plays any kind of role in addressing this issue so that it doesn't happen in the future. Yeah, they're doing a great job on power. They're doing a great job. Uh, historically, there's never been anything like this. But the United States Coast Guard FEMA working along with governors. They've really done an amazing job. And power is being turned on rapidly. The power companies, we have the largest assemblage of human beings ever in one area for power. And rapidly it's being turned on. So we're very happy with that. Uh, the wall will come later. We're right now renovating large sections of wall, massive sections, making it brand new. We're doing a lot of renovation. We're building four different samples of the wall to see which one we're going to choose 
and the wall is going to be built. It'll be funded a little bit later. Back to Florida real quick. Well, we want to get massive border security, and I think that both Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, I think they agree with it, but so we met last night with, as you know, Schumer, Pelosi, and a whole group, and I think we're fairly close, but we have to get massive border security. Is there anything? Oh, I think he's on board. Yeah, Mitch is on board, Paul Ryan's on board. We all feel, look, 92 percent of the people agree on DACA. But what we want is we want very, very powerful border security, okay? We're going down to Florida. We'll see you in Florida. Ryan and McConnell agree with us on DACA. We're very much, we're very much on board. I spoke to them, yes. Okay, that was really helpful. Let me bring back Matt Schlapp and Simone Sanders. Matt, there, I believe that he clarified some things. He wants massive border security, but it is not. He's departing now, uh, heading to Florida, obviously, to see the aftermath there. This is live. These are live pictures. The aftermath of Irma there in Florida. So he's waving goodbye. And uh, over these live pictures, Matt, he... He is threading this needle. He's saying massive yeah. border security, but that is different, and you know it to conservatives, than the promise of a new big wall. Yeah, well, let me just say, Allison, I think his tweet was accurate, that there's no question that he is talking about a deal with uh, congressional leaders, including the Democratic leaders, but they don't have a deal yet. If the deal is as you describe, which is, all the doc folks here uh, who were given special uh, status, temporary status by Barack Obama, uh, if they all uh, get to stay and get permanent legal status, I do think there's going to be great concern over that. And I think that could have hit some rocks uh, with certainly conservatives in Congress. But I actually want to look at this a little bit differently, quickly, which is on DACA. Once again, Barack Obama only gave him a two year period of time. Hillary Clinton said they wouldn't get permanent status. I think you actually have to delve down into this community of people and they go into different categories. And I think it would be a mistake to give blanket amnesty to all those who are here, but I am open to having the legal status for sections of these folks. Okay, uh, Simone, I'm so sorry.